Hi, fire signs. Welcome back to the channel. Today, y'all, this is going to be a pick a card reading. So, we basically grouping all the signs together. <clears throat> so, look, this is how we doing this. It's going to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All of y'all are grouped together in one video. We're not splitting the signs up today because it's separate pals. So, y'all can click on pal one, pal two, pal three. Okay, y'all? So, go ahead and make your selection. You know, pick out your favorite number in your head. If y'all need some help, look, I'll give y'all some help with how to pick your pal. I'm going to do three, three different cards. Okay. And whichever card you click or select will be your pal. Okay. <laughs> take your time. Go ahead and take your pick, y'all. And we're going to get started on pal one. So, let's see pal one. I'm gonna go ahead and keep y'all card out here, power one, since I pulled that one first. So power one, y'all coming in at one minute and eleven seconds. One eleven, that gotta be good. So let's see. Yes, like I said, one eleven, that gotta be good. <laughs> so we got wisdom, competence, people pleasing. Okay. So let's see what's going on with that. And this will be a behind the scenes reading, y'all. We're going to see what's going on behind the scenes, what's hidden. Um, what do you need to know? Give me something on this wisdom card. Yeah, I feel like somebody is teaching you more so how to be, um, like, stronger in your life. Some of y'all could feel like it's a particular person, either around you. This could be somebody that you're going to for counseling. This could be um, somebody around you, like a friend or a family member. This could even be, like, somebody that you watch online. It doesn't have to be, like, it could be motivational videos that you watch or something like that. But whoever this is or whatever it is that you're watching, or whoever it is that you're paying attention to, y'all feel like this person is teaching you certain things in life. They showing you how to, like, pull back from shit that ain't meant to be in your life. Some of y'all could feel like a rebel for not entertaining certain people or certain things, like, oh, if I don't kick it with my family, they gonna feel like I'm acting funny, they gonna feel like I'm being a rebel. Oh, if I don't hang on my friends, my friends gonna feel like I'm being fake or I'm being phony or I'm cutting them off. It's like y'all always had this urge of I need to separate from these people. I need to get away from these people. But you've never took the action to do it. And the reason why you've never taken the action to actually get away from certain people in your life is because you've always wanted to please people. It's like, yes, you have the urge to break away, but a part of you have always felt like well what if they need me what if i hurt their feelings by pulling away from them what if they what if they think this about me what if they think that about me what if i become the disloyal friend if i pull back what if i become the disloyal family member if i pull back let me ask y'all something how can you become a lesser person how can you become disloyal how can you become a childish whatever you call it just by pulling yourself away from something that wasn't healthy for me for you anyway if something ain't healthy for you in your life, don't ever feel bad about pulling away from it. It don't matter if it's a love interest, a friends or benefits, a family member, a friend. If something is not healthy for you, don't ever feel bad for pulling back. And don't ever feel like you need to please people that ain't trying to please you. Don't ever feel that way. Don't ever feel like you got to choose another motherfucker over yourself. Why? Because you'll do so much better without these people. <sighs> And I'm going to be real, like whoever these people are that you kind of like afraid to pull back from, you're doing way better without these people. I could be talking to my Aries and my Leos in this pile. Some of y'all could have chose this pile, pile one.
Let's bloom. Y'all feel like somebody is showing you that something is a missed opportunity. They're trying to teach somebody something or show somebody something that it's time to like walk away or leave something behind. This could be you leaving behind a third party that you were constantly going back to. It's you feeling like it's time to pull away from this person. It's time to let it go. And it's time to let this person like lean on their last leg. Some of y'all feel like some of y'all was looking at the situation like, well, can I not hold on to this person because I don't have enough money for them? This could have been a side piece. You're like, I, why they don't want to, you know, why they ain't sticking with me? They want me, but why they ain't sticking with me? Y'all wondering, like, if you have enough for this person, if you just not good enough for them, but they just fucking other people. It's not you, it's them. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with the fact you may be down on your luck right now. Some of y'all may be needing to build your finances up right now. And you will get there. But you ain't going to get there no faster worried about this side piece's opinion. Oh, this person don't want me because I don't make enough. Or this person feel like I ain't good enough for them. Fuck them. Don't ever feel like you ain't good enough for a bitch that ain't making nothing either. <laughs> Excuse me? If you're a man, don't ever feel like you you less than or you're not good enough for a bitch that ain't making no more than you are. For a bitch that's broke. <laughs> or a bitch that you making more than. If you are uh if you're a man that's into the same sex, don't ever feel like you're not good enough for a, a mother a motherfucking bomb ass man that ain't making no more than you are. You pay, you got more than them. Don't ever feel like, oh well, maybe I'm not good enough for them. No, they're not good enough for you. If you're a woman and it's like a man that's like trying to come for you or trying to treat you like you small or you don't have enough or you're not doing enough or you, you're not really making it like that. Or they treating you like your family member got more money than you or they doing more than you. Cut their ass off. Cut their ass clean the fuck off. They are the ones missing out on the opportunity. If they feel like they, the grass would be green or fucking with a third party that's reckless and sleeping around on them. Goodbye. Let them feel that way. <laughs> let they ass go. Don't ever let a motherfucker make you feel like you less than and don't ever try to please a bitch that's unpleasable. It don't matter if they a man or a woman. Don't ever try to please somebody that's unpleasable. They don't want to be pleased. <laughs> they don't want to be fucking pleased. This is somebody that will nag and try to make you feel like you're not good enough because they are not good enough. That's their insecurities and they projecting that shit onto you. Since I'm not good enough, I'm going to try to make you feel low about yourself. And then maybe, maybe you'll start trying to chase me. Maybe you'll start trying to treat me like royalty. Maybe you'll start thinking that I'm better than you or I'm bigger than you or that you have to do something to impress me. Huh. Please. Y'all don't have to impress this person. Sad thing is, some of y'all can have a child with this person. You can have kids with them. This could be somebody that wanted to build a family with you. But they want to make you believe that you're not good enough for them. If that makes sense. It's like they're trying to use like some type of reverse psychology to make you feel like you don't deserve them. And they not even, they a bad investment. Whoever this is, they not a good person to be around. Some of y'all... Sadly, sadly, this could be a family member of yours. Um, if you have a family member that is an earth sign, this could definitely be them. This could be an Aquarius. Some of y'all, this is family. Others of y'all, this is like somebody that they could have been your side piece. And it's like when you broke up, some of y'all were in a relationship already. You was with somebody. Y'all could have kids with another person as well. And it's like you was in a relationship with them, dealing with them, but you feel like they walked away. So you went back to a side person that was kind of like trying to make you feel like you're less than. So it's like, since I missed out on a chance to be with my, my main person, let me try to build something with my side person. But your side person cheating. They got other people in the mix. Some of y'all, they even fucking your friend or they fucking your coworker. You could know all this though. And this is why you've been trying to hold yourself back from dealing with this person. For a lot of y'all, they don't even have a car. They don't have a car. They don't have no money. They don't have shit to their name at all. 
So I'm telling you, this is not a missed opportunity for you. It's a missed opportunity for them because you have more than them. This is somebody that actually needs you, this side person. They need you to build the Ten of Pentacles. This is somebody that needs you to build a family. They need you to buy a home. They need you for your money because they don't have the resources. They don't have the finances. This is somebody that's broke. They coming to you with nothing and they expecting you to build them up. This could be a Virgo. This could be a Cancer. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. But this is somebody that's coming to you broke, but they're lying to you, trying to make you think that they're fortunate. Or they trying to make you think that they successful. Like, oh, I got money. I got this. I got that. So this would be the type of person that would try to dress up real nice to make you think that they paid and they not. They ain't got shit to their name. They don't have no money. So this like a bitch wearing... <laughs> this like a bitch wearing... If she a woman, it's like a woman that would go buy... Or I, I say rent. This like a woman that would go rent a $2,000 outfit. They on corner. They on all them goddamn apps trying to <laughs> trying to finance them some clothes and shit. There's somebody that is focused on fashion and focused on making themselves look the best so they can make you think that they got money that they don't have. There's somebody that needs your money. They need to live in your household. They need you. And they lie to you about a whole hell of a lot, too. They rude as hell. They always mean and nasty towards you. And plus, they cheating. There's somebody that's always in and out or they be ghosting because they got somebody else on the side that they dealing with. But they're trying to make a solid decision about the person that they got on the side because they feel like this person, like, abusing them emotionally or emotionally manipulating them. This could be an air sign fucking with a, a water sign man. We got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, female. Or cancer and then we got a cancer pisces scorpio man but you know genders could be flipped it could be it is what it is but i see a man and a woman out here a water sign man and a air sign woman okay but whoever this is like if you a man you know you was dealing with this woman this woman has somebody else on the side but she's feeling like, okay, well, maybe I need to make a decision about the man that I have on the side because I feel like they are your side piece. That's the crazy thing about it. Your side piece has a side piece. But the side piece that they have have a lot of options. So the person that they're connected to, this could be another person that they have a child with. This person has a lot of options. They feel like all this person do is look at other people. They don't look at me. They don't want anything to do with me. All they do is sleep around and they, they reckless about it. So this could be somebody that that asleep with somebody. This is like a man that's sleeping around on his side piece. And once they sleep around on this person, it's like they come back and throw it in their face. They come back and brag about it. Oh, yeah, I just fucked so-and-so, so-and-so. Or I just had sex with this person. And, yeah, it was good. It was this, 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 and that. So it's like they feel like this person is doing this to intentionally piss them off, to intentionally aggravate them. But they feel like this person will never take them serious and they done like dealing with the toxic shit. It's like, well, I know this person don't want me. So what is my point of dealing with them, staying with them just so I can make something look good on social media? So this is like a person, a woman that's concerned about her image. Like, oh, I'm gonna look bad on social media if if I stop fucking with this water sign. There's somebody that kind of want like attention. They want to be in the spotlight. They want people to notice them. So this is why they hanging on to this water sign because they feel like this person could get them some clout that they looking for. But the, this water sign not even giving them attention. So it's like this person not even posting them. If the water sign is they baby daddy, they feel like this person not even posting them online. You're not posting me on your social media. All you're doing is talking about another bitch. All you're doing is like, they feel like this person like, who's the queen of wands? They feel like this person is healing from another situation, a queen of wands, somebody that left them, somebody that, they feel like somebody played them and it's like, oh, well now they're trying to play me. Now they don't want to post me online. Now they want to let this queen of wands tell them what to do. 
now they're allowing this person to tell them everything. So uh, maybe they just upset with this person. I feel like it's a lot of shit, but it's mainly dealing with clout. This somebody is like, I was only fucking with this King of Cups so I could get them to spread my name around so people can notice me, so people can fuck with me and think that I'm a good woman, even though they know they not. This somebody is like, I need them to fuck with me so they can bring my name up. But they feel like this King of Cups ain't fucking with them like that. They also stalking, like, if you was in a relationship, they stalking a the person you was in a relationship with. Your side piece is. They stalking you and a person that you was in a relationship with. Um, they trying to find a way to convince you that this person that you was with was manipulating you. So this is like your side piece feeling like, well, I don't want to be a side piece no more to uh, my fire sign, the fire sign. So what I'm going to do is... I'ma just figure out, I'ma just watch their girl page. I'ma watch their man page and see what I can say about their man or their woman. See what I can say to make Leo feel like they chose the wrong person. To make them feel weak or to make them feel like they person weak as fuck or they person not this, they person not that. So this is like an insecure ass bitch that's basically trying to get you to believe that the person that you chose is like the weakest link you shouldn't have chose them they ain't this they ain't that they don't got what i got bitch you have nothing you're trying to get everything you can get out of the out of the fire sign you trying to come up on aries leo sagittarius you trying to come up on them you don't have shit they trying to come up on you and they also trying to use the other person that they fucking with for clout but they feel like the other person that they fucking with ain't fucking with them so this is somebody that's like, I need one of y'all to make me look good on social media. This is what this person is looking for. Like a man, if you a man, this is like a, a woman that's looking for like a man that could like get them clout, bring their name up on social media, make people notice them, make people recognize them. Cause this is somebody that cares about being seen, but they feel like they lame and they don't get enough attention. So it's like, well, how can I ever get my name out there? I can't because I'm a lame. So there's somebody that's really just <sighs> stalking you. It's like, I feel like I made the wrong choice with this uh, with this water sign. So I'm going to go ahead and stalk Leo and see how I can manipulate them out of their situation. That's it. But this person feel like maybe you're going to find out about their petty ways before they even try this shit. They feel like y'all watch a lot of tarot and they feel like you're going to catch them up before they even get a chance to like try their new plan on you. Before they even get a chance to see if this shit work, they feel like you're going to be them calling on or whatever they're doing. It could be a lot of Aries that chose this pile too. You could be an Aries and this could be a, a, a air sign female that's kind of like trying to... um trying to see if they could break up a relationship for you. Some of y'all, they could have been dating your family member or in a relationship with your family member. For a lot of y'all, this person may have kids with your family member, but they want you. They want you and they feel like you abandoned them or you just left them out in the cold, like they missed their chance a long time ago. And they feel like they have to stay away from you yeah, they feel like they missed their chance with you a long time ago. This somebody that's feeling like y'all haven't really had a solid conversation in five to ten years. Some of y'all, this is about five years. You feel like they feel like they haven't had a solid conversation with you in five years. And they haven't because they don't want your family member to find out that y'all connected, that y'all have slept with each other, y'all have dealt with each other. They don't want somebody to know something. Yeah, they don't want somebody to know something and they feel like your family member is on the verge of like finding it out. Finding out that they slept with like another person around you. Or they slept to, oh, I'm sorry, y'all, they could slip a child, my bad. So they sleep with somebody around y'all. Like I said, they sleep with your family member and this could also be somebody that's sleeping with you too, especially if it's a female. If I'm, I'm talking to my men, fire signs now. If this is a woman, an air sign woman, this is somebody that don't want, like, they feel like they got to move on from you because they don't want your other family member, which they could possibly have a child with, 
to know that oh yeah i was fucking on your you know i was fucking on your brother i was fucking on your cousin i was fucking on this this somebody family though you could be the brother you could be because this is like the ultimate betrayal this is why this person felt like they had to allow you to move on with your life some of y'all could have had like a child as well you could have had one kid when you slept with this person but this is somebody that's like, well, I guess I got to let, you know, the fire sign move on with their life. Like I said, I feel like I may be talking to some Aries in this pal. But it's like, this is somebody that's like, I guess I got to let them move on with their life because this will be the ultimate betrayal. And I already know that somebody is going to be depressed if this news gets out, if the secret is revealed. So, yeah, this is like somebody that was sleeping with you and they have a child with somebody else in your family. But they feel like the person that they have a child with has too many options. It's like, oh, well, you sad over, you sad over all you. No, they feel like they sad over like somebody that left them. Oh, you sad over somebody that left you. And then on top of that, you got a lot of options. You don't care about what you do to me. All you do is try to sleep around and make me mad. So this is somebody that feels like they're a couple with this person, with your family member and your family member playing the fuck out of them. It's like, oh, we together, but yo, this King of Cups, this water sign man is doing me dirty. So it's like, I got to walk away. So this person stalking like you and a person that you have a child with so they can see if they can rekindle something that happened between y'all years ago. So if you and this person had an affair years ago, this is somebody that's like, I want to see if they'll try it with me again. You know, I want to see if we can do that again. But this person know you're getting ready to get married. They know that you committed to somebody else. A lot of y'all possibly committed to the person that you have a child with now. Are you thinking about proposing to this person? And it's like, some of y'all could even be having another baby. But it's like, my life is different now. I'm in love. Like, I'm happy. You know, I didn't have kids with somebody else. It's over. Like, whatever I had with you, that shit dead. Some of y'all could have even, like, if you know that they have a child with your sibling or with somebody in your family, you could have told this person to abort the child. Some of y'all could have thought that it was your child originally and you told this person to abort whatever baby they was having. This is more so for my men. Because you knew that you slept with this person and it's like, I don't want the baby to come out and it's my baby and then my, my people's looking at me like I'm fucking crazy. I don't want that to happen. That was like your biggest fear. It's like, I'm not finna, no, nah, I'm good. Like, I don't want people looking at me like I'm crazy, like I'm this, like I'm that. So for my men, if you are like, okay, because I'm seeing a lot of Aries energy out here. If you are Aries, this could be you like dealing with like one of your family members, like your family member, baby mama. I see a woman out here, so I'm reading this. I see it. This is like you dealing with like your baby, like somebody's baby mama in the family a while ago. And this person is still stalking you. They still feeling like y'all should have a relationship. Y'all should be together. But... A lot of y'all kind of used them because you knew they was vulnerable. You didn't really want to be with this person. It was just an easy opportunity for you. Some of y'all just wanted sex. I'm not going to lie. It's like you really just wanted to sleep with this person. You didn't want to be with them. You was going to reject them the moment that you got what you needed from them, which was the sex. But... They felt like their family member was going to eventually reject you or reject the other person. Okay, this could be y'all feeling as if, okay, well, my people's going to eventually, like, leave this person alone. They're going to eventually stop fucking with their baby. Y'all didn't understand. It's like y'all didn't know that this person would have a child with this person. It's like I didn't know that they would have kids or whoever this is, but... 
I thought they would move on because they found somebody else, but this is somebody that's feeling like I did what I, I, I just made a mistake. Shit, I went for it. I know it was wrong, but I did it anyway. Yeah, I slept with my family member, you know, person, but it is what it is. King of Cups is they feel like they losing all their power. There's somebody that's worried about losing all their power. They scared because they feel like they're losing everything. They're losing a home. Um, they feel like they're looking weak right now. They don't have any new ideas on how to like make people think that they live in a good life. There's somebody that want people to believe that they're actually doing well themselves, like partying, kicking it. So this is like two people that's like faking a funk. Two people that want people to believe that they doing good. This is two people that want the world to believe that they doing good. So they basically using each other to make it, to make their lives look like it's something going on in their life. There's two people that really don't like each other, but it's like, oh, well, I'm broke. So I need to cling to somebody that's going to give me some clout. But... This King of Cups is uh, definitely a, like a bully. They don't really care about much. There's somebody that don't really care about much. They don't care about other people. And they feel this way because they feel like they're committed to somebody that is not worried about them. They feel like they trying to either they're committed to somebody else. So this could be like a female feeling like she's with a man. And this man, if they have kids together. Okay, so say if your family member have a child with whoever this is, this queen of swords, this air sign. This is like this air sign feeling like they in a relationship with this king of cups. Oh, we're in a relationship, but they ain't treating me right. They steady sleeping around. They steady doing this, 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 and that. And they doing that to this person and throwing it in their face because this king of cups feel like they're not with them. They baby daddy feel like they're not in a relationship with them. You think we together, we're not together. So this is like a man is doing everything in his power to show this person like, I don't want you, I don't want shit to do with you. So they may be over all this. They may be over this person. Them finding out that you dealt with them, like that may hit, but it's like not much because it's somebody that's already over this person. They don't really care about nobody else but the person that they feel they're with. This is like a man that's already saying to himself, like, I'm married to somebody else. I'm in a relationship with somebody else. I'm just bitter towards my partner. I'm mad at my partner because I can't watch them. I can't creep past their house. I can't come see them. I can't do this. I can't do that. So this is somebody that's feeling like they already want to marry somebody else. So this King of Cups have moved on mentally. They with somebody else, or they feel like they are. They don't know if their baby mama was trying to steal from them or not, but this person kind of like done with the whole situation. They baby mama, baby daddy. This person is done with the whole situation. It's like, I don't know if they was trying to steal from me, but whatever it is, they being weird as fuck, so I'm good. They feel like the person they had a kid with this whole time had some type of angle. They had some type of reasoning for wanting to deal with them. Some of y'all, this could be your friend. And you slept with they, you know, baby mama or baby daddy or somebody that they really, really loved at one point in time. But they don't now. Others of y'all, this is, this is your family member and you slept with like they girlfriend, they baby mama. Well, I'm going to say they baby mama because like I said, they not with this person, but they have a child with them. So this is like y'all sleeping with somebody, baby mama, baby daddy. Yeah, this person is still watching y'all. 
whoever this masculine energy is, they still watching y'all because they feel like they can't necessarily get rid of this person that they have this child with, but they can use them for sex whenever they want to. So this is a man that feels like, well, I may not be able to cut my baby mama off, but I could fuck them whenever I want to. I could use them whenever I want to for sex, even though I know that that's not a wise decision. That's not the best thing for me to do because they didn't possibly fuck everybody in my friend group. This is somebody that's kind of worried about the fact that this person possibly slept with everybody around them. But it's like, at least I know I can still hit. At least I know I can still fuck them. But they know they shouldn't do it, though. This is like somebody they know, well, my baby mama get around. Or they didn't slept with my family. They didn't slept with my friends. They get around. But I'm going to try to, you know, I'm going to still make this stupid, stupid decision to fuck around with them every now and again. It's weird. It's like somebody... Saying to themselves that, yeah, I'm done with this person, but when I get bored and when I want to fuck again, I'm going to fuck again. So it's like they kind of like doing this to themselves. If this person is like crying over another person or wishing that they could marry or be in a relationship with another person, they doing this to themselves. Like they ruined their own relationship because this is like a man that's like really, really evil towards their love interest. That's what this is, like a man that's really, really evil or rude to their love interests. They spiteful and they hateful towards everybody, even the people that, even the person that they know things could work out with, even the person that they know love them for real and would never hurt them. This is somebody that's like evil towards that person anyway. They treat this person like they less than, they treat this person like they hate them, and they know that this is somebody that's done them right. So it's like the person that they bitter about wanting to bear, wanting to marry or wanting to be with, it's like, well, I want to be with them, but when they in my life, I'm just going to treat them like shit. <laughs> I'm going to treat them like whatever I want to treat them like. And that's why, they, that's why they can't be with whoever they want to be with, for real. And that's why they stuck with the baby mama that they really don't want. What's, um, this could be y'all little brother that's going through this. This King of Cups could be your little brother. Because we got a little sister out here, but it came out in reverse. So this could be either like a younger sibling. That feels like they need a way out of something. They need a way out of something because now they look bad for not starting a life with the right person. Somebody wants kids with another person now. It's like, I want kids with this other person. I want to have a life with them. I want to celebrate with them. I want to be a part of whatever they got going on. So this is somebody that feels like the person that they're claiming, um, that person, they making good money. They celebrating. They in the spotlight. They doing well for themselves. They got their own home. This is like a man that wants to cause problems with a woman because she's doing well for herself. So if, if, your, if your sibling, your younger brother is dealing with a woman, that has like a nice home. They got their own shit. They got this. They got that. This is a man that's like being bitchy. Being bitchy towards this person because they're jealous. Oh, you got your own home. And since you ain't going to let me be a part of You got your own home. You got this. You got that. You got that. But since you ain't going to let me be a part of it, I'm going to try to tear you down. This somebody that kind of want to be like, they want to take over somebody else's blessings. It's like they know that this person worked hard to get everything that they deserve or need in their life. So this is the type of man that will really be on some whole shit, on some whole shit and like tear it down for that woman. Because it's like, well, if you're not going to if you're not going to bring me on, put me on board, move me into this home, give me some of this money. And this somebody that's only worried about clout. This is a man that ran into somebody that's just like them, evil like them lie just like them manipulate people emotions just like them their baby mama is just like them they mistreat the right person and they ran into somebody that's doing them the same way that they doing others the same way that they did the the person that actually loved them somebody else doing this to them sleeping with you sleeping with their friends sleeping with everybody sleeping around on them and they did it to the person that they love so this is like a man that's like 
they want payback. They want revenge on the person that's actually doing well for themselves, the person that actually loved them. Because they feel like, well, you ain't going to let me get no clout off your name. Like, if I can't live in your house and, and sit, sit on your shit and eat what you eating, I can't eat steak with you. I can't do what you do. I can't take pictures. I can't be living the life that you live in. Bet. I'm going to try to make it seem like you're not living the life that you live in. This is like a jealous ass man that really just, they're, what they want is clout. They want the same thing that they baby mama want. This is like a man that's looking for a relationship just so they can have the title. Just so they can say that they the ones that's really living big. They the ones that's really making money. They the ones that's really doing this. So this could be like a man that's down on their luck right now and they want to use the next person to like look good. They want to use the next person to make it look like their life is going well and it's not. And they do shit to be funny. It's like they know that the person that they want to be with has like some sort of gift. And it's like they want to make this person believe like I can be loving. I'm not a vengeful person. I'm not evil. They're, they, but that's how they are, though. This is who this person is. Your sibling will try to, like, ruin the person that they know loves them and to try to, like, it's like they try to shit on a person that they know that loves them. And then when they get shitted on by somebody else, it's, oh, I'm with this person over here. I was never fucking with my baby mama in the first place. I've always been claiming this other person. No, 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 no. This other person has left the building. Whoever they in love with and whoever they want, that person has left the building. They can no longer claim that person. That person no longer wants to be with them. They try to ruin this person. They try to tear them down because of what another person was doing to them. And it's like, no. Hell no. Somebody was just like, like I said, they got ill intent. They, they low-key evil as hell. And it's like, if it's not about clout. They want clout. This is all this is about. A man ran into a, a female and had a child with that female, and that female is the same way that he is. This is a man that uses people for clout. If they not doing good in their life, if they don't have a job, if they're not working, if they car down, they need to be around somebody that has like all of the um all of the material possessions that they're looking for so they can stunt and try to make it seem like, oh, this is mine, I'm living like this, I'm doing this, I got my life together. This some this somebody they do shit for the public. They do shit for the public. And it's like now everything is starting to backfire on them. Like I said, y'all sibling could be a water sign. This could be a cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Sagittarius. Somebody could have a child with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a cancer. Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces. Okay. What's the advice? What 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 else is coming out for y'all? This somebody that think they smart, y'all. I'm telling you, this somebody that feels like they smart, but they getting played too, and it's by the person that they have a child with. They think they smart, but they waiting and watching and sitting back waiting on some information to come out about the person that they have a child with. This is like a man saying to himself, well, I'm just going to wait until one more thing come out about my baby mama. Nigga, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, motherfucker. A million things that already came out about this rat bitch or about this rat ass man. What else? What more do you need to know? Somebody is like slow and in, in, in like saying to themselves, I'm going to keep my money to myself. I'm going to just focus on my bread. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. But they keep getting disappointed every time they try to move slowly towards the past. It's like somebody that's considering going back to the, to the person that they know dogging them out. Oh, I'm a, I might go back to my baby mama. I might go back to my baby daddy because I can't go back to my ex. My ex got me blocked or they feel like the person that they're claiming the person that they really feel like they in a relationship with, they feel like this person got them blocked. Oh, they got me blocked. They ain't fucking with me. They done with me. So let me try to go back to my ex and see if that work to make to see if that 
make this person feel some type of way. Like if I make a bad decision, this person gonna come running back because they gonna know that I'm the one for them. Bitch, please. In what world? Nobody is living like that. If you gonna keep running off to go deal with other people, nobody is gonna sit around and wait on you and feel like, oh my gosh, this person is getting away. They're gonna run off and go fuck with this person. Let me go run and get them back. No, no. Have fun with your broke ass baby mama. Have fun with your broke ass baby daddy. Have fun with that bum. <laughs> Nobody gives a fuck. Like, this somebody that's kind of like trying to confuse people or trying to cause drama and make it seem like, well, I'm not causing drama. But they are causing drama by trying to go back and forth between their baby mama and stay with the person that they with. It's like somebody that wants to stay in a relationship with a particular person. But they also want to keep their baby mama or baby daddy on the side. And it's like, come on now. And then they're saying to themselves, like, I'm not starting drama. How are you not starting drama? How are you not starting drama? This somebody is haunted at night by their decisions. This somebody that don't even get much sleep. They feel like they're sleeping upside down. And it's because of the fact that they refuse to change. They keep trying to avoid these tower moments. They keep trying to avoid, like, telling the truth. This is like a man that's like, I'm going to have my cake and eat it too. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless. And it's, it never works out in their favor. It never works out the way that they want it to work out, to be honest. They always end up single. They always end up getting left. Yeah, there's somebody that always, always ends up be, being single. And they always trying to find a person that they love in someone else. The person that they really want to be with, the person that they love, they always trying to find this person within someone else. And it's like, they go back to this baby mama, expecting this baby mama to play the part. Well, you need to act like my ex. You need to be like this person. You need to talk like them. You need to walk like them. But this baby mama has a whole nother baby daddy. This somebody that has, they dealing with a, a woman that has kids by multiple men. They not willing to play the part for them. They not willing to act like this person's ex just to hold on to them. Because they looking at the situation like, well, I got another man that I'm holding on to. I'm holding on to my other baby daddy. I'm holding on to my other, like, why would I, why would I play that part for you? Why would I play that role for you? No. So, this person ain't as committed to it as they think they are. So this is like a man is not going to get what he want regardless. He's not going to be able to have his cake and eat it too because nobody wants to participate in their in their games. Not even the person that fucked around with y'all. They don't want to participate in their games no more. Somebody was also, yeah, we got lies too, y'all. We got lies, we got neighbors, we got experience, and we got family. So somebody could have lied about sleeping with the neighbors. So their baby mama could have lied about sleeping with their neighbor. And this person could have lied about sleeping with you as well. There's somebody that lied about sleeping with family members, neighbors, all type of people. And they was able to convince your, your brother. I'm going to say brother because that's what I saw out here. They was able to convince your brother of this of this secret. They was able to convince this person that... Oh, I'm not dealing with, I never dealt with your family member. I never dealt with this person. I never dealt with that person. The only way they was able to convince this person of that is by trying to like starve them from sex. So this is a man that, that's like, well, my baby mama ain't even giving me sex. They be turning me down. So I'm having a hard time believing that they slept with my baby, slept with my, um, slept with my brother or slept with my family member and my friend and the neighbor. I'm having a hard time believing that. But this is somebody that already know that they this person slept with their friend. They know that this person slept with their friend. They even know about the neighbor too. But I guess they having a hard time like believing that they have dealt with you in some type of way. Um, or tried to sleep with you. Some of y'all they they've already slept with you. Others of y'all they tried to sleep with you in the past. But this is like man, like I don't believe that. <laughs> And that's why this person is able to play them constantly because they confuse this person into thinking, oh, I'm a good woman. Nick, motherfucker, if the bitch is loosey-goosey when you're having sex with her, you know she's been having sex with somebody else. She just ain't been wanting it from you. So so this is a man that believes like, oh, well, my baby mama innocent. They don't do this. They don't do that. No, your baby mama fucking a lot of people. And they be outside way more than you think. 
That's how they got pregnant. That's how somebody got pregnant. This person got pregnant. It's like all the evidence pointed back to this person, like fucking everybody. Because they ended up pregnant with a baby that wasn't your family members. Somebody could be pregnant now. Others, yeah, they just had the baby. But it's not your family member's baby. And they in love with the other baby daddy. They in love with the other person that they had this child with. Trying to have dinner with that person and some more shit. They feel like they can't see that person's face. It's like, I really want to be around the other person. I really want to be around my other baby daddy. I want to see their face, but they ain't fucking with me. They other baby daddy could even be your family member's friend. We got friendship. Or it could be you. This somebody that's obsessed with a female that they have a child with. This, this person, the person they have a child with is obsessed with everybody else. They obsessed with you. They obsessed with this person's friend that they had a baby with. They obsessed with a lot of people. This somebody that fucks a lot of people and, and expect the relationships to grow with all of them people. They expect the relationship to grow with all of them people. And we have fertility. They could have even told your, your family member that the baby was theirs. And it's not. It's really not their baby. <laughs> so if your family member try to bring them to a family cookout and tell everybody, oh, well, this my baby, and they're lying. It's not their baby. Their baby mama had a baby with their friend, somebody close to them. What's the advice? Yes, this was the wrong time for all of this to come out. Some of y'all, you buried the secret for so long. It's like, I never thought anybody would find out about me dealing with, you know, this person. Never thought. You don't really want to be accused of it. But some of y'all know that it's time to lay this situation to rest. You know that it's time to let this person know what's going on for real, for real. Because you feel like it's going to cause a big issue if you don't speak to... Your family member, if you don't say something to this person, it's like it's going to be, you know, a huge blow up. And a lot of y'all feel like this baby mama, their baby mama is still creeping on you. Even if you're a woman, this could be somebody else's baby mama, like stalking you, watching you and shit. But this is like somebody still watching you. Somebody still trying to make themselves known. So this is like even if you was trying to bury a secret, the secret was going to come back up anyway, because this is like a woman that they become obsessed with people once they sleep with them they refuse to go away they refuse to like they refuse to let people go and it's because they feel like oh well you just gonna throw me away what i'm not cute enough for you was i boring was i this was i that i thought you cared about me i thought you wanted something with me this is like a woman that becomes obsessed with people they become obsessed with people. They become obsessed with men. And it's not just one man. It's multiple men. There's somebody that has an obsession for multiple people. And everybody that they have this strong obsession for, none of these people want this person. None of these people are attracted to this person. You are not attracted to this person. A lot of y'all think they stupid. You feel like they're not intelligent at all. They really lack the smarts. You also feel like they have no sex appeal. Some of y'all feel like they ugly. They don't know how to flirt. They not a playful person. They really just boring. You thought you was helping your family members. Some of y'all thought you was helping them. It's like, damn. They don't want a way out of this. Honestly. This person not done watching you. They're not going to ever give up on watching you. This is somebody where it don't matter if y'all haven't slept together in years. If y'all haven't slept together in 15 years, 10 years, 6 years, 5 years. This is somebody that's like still stalking you even though it's been 5 years. They still watching you even though they say they're not watching you. So y'all best bet is to just um, expose this secret yourself. So this person won't be able to hang anything over your head and over the new person that you in love with head. Because like I said, some of y'all got kids with a whole nother person. You move on with your life. That was like five, six years ago, 10 years ago for some of y'all. It was a while ago that you, you know, creeped around with this person. But I'm going to tell y'all right now, this person been watching you 
and your person and your baby mama, whoever you had the new child with, they've been watching you and your new person, your new baby mama, your new baby daddy for a while. A lot of y'all in a relationship with the person that you have a child with. Um, but they've been watching this person for a long ass time, ever since y'all moved into a new home together. Some of y'all moved into a new home with this person and they they've been watching them. They're still watching them. So I'm going to let you know if you want to get this crazy ass bitch or this crazy ass man up off your back. But I feel like this is a woman doing this. Like even if you are a, a woman in this reading, some of y'all could be into the same sex or literally this is somebody else. Like you dating somebody and they have like a, a baby mama that's stalking them and you and the baby mama pregnant again by somebody else. The baby mama is the rat here. <laughs> Point blank period. Whoever whoever somebody has a child with, this person is the rat. They didn't slept around with this person's family. They didn't slept around with this person's friends. They didn't slept around with their neighbors and they even ended up pregnant. But the whoever y'all dealing if you're a woman, whoever y'all dealing with, this person feels like, well, my baby mama don't be having sex with me like that, or they be acting like no, we can't have sex. You got to take me out. I'm a lady. <laughs> if they, they feel like they baby mama good at fooling them into believing that they're a, a woman. But this is like a hoe. Somebody be outside doing all type of shit at night. So if you a man, like I said, this is like a woman that's doing this to y'all. Some of y'all, you are the family member. Like you are the family member that slept with this part, with this, um, with your family member, baby mama or baby daddy, whatever. But this happened a long time ago and this person has not stopped watching you. I want you to know that now they're still watching you. Some of y'all, you could also be this person's friend, but I feel like for most of you, this is like, you know, family shit. The best way to get this shit off your conscience is to release it. To tell this family member of yours what happened. Tell this friend of yours what happened. If it was your friend that you treat like family, tell them what happened. Best thing for you to do is to get this shit off your conscience and to speak up about what it is that happened, what it is that's going on. And go from there. Don't, don't you know, don't feel bad, whatever. Yes, it, it was wrong, but at the end of the day... Some of y'all, like I said, it was a long time ago. Some of y'all, this happened inside of a home. It's This happened inside of the family home or this happened inside of somebody's house. We got home. Doing like a celebration. This could have happened during some type of celebration. So say if your family member um, had their baby mama at the house, like maybe they just celebrated a gender reveal, like maybe they celebrated a um, the baby shower. This was this could have been years ago, but they had somebody over to the house for a celebration, and it's like after that celebration, you could have slept with that person. They could have they could have snuck in your room. They could have like whoever this is, yeah, whoever this is, they snuck in your room. We got creep, friendship, loyalty in reverse. Yeah, whoever this is, they they snuck in your room. They snuck wherever you was at. This person approached you because they was upset about the way things went that day. This is somebody that's like, I didn't have a good time. I feel some type of way. The the baby shower was horrible or this was horrible. The gender reveal didn't go the way that I wanted it to. So this somebody to act like they was looking for comfort. They snuck into your room, act like they was looking for comfort or somebody to talk to and they slept with your person. Or not, I'm sorry, not you. You and this person slept together, I'm sorry. You and this person slept together. If you a woman, this is how the situation played out between the person that you dating, their baby mama, and their baby mama sibling. Somebody fucked somebody's family, and that's how the situation played out. Like 
somebody snuck into somebody's room. This, if you a man, um, fire sign, this could be, you know, what a woman did to you. Snuck into your room and fucked you and act like she was trying to confide in you about something. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, y'all, the advice for this, what's the advice for power women? Stay with the person that you love, y'all. I already gave y'all advice, but stay with the person that you love. This situation with this baby mama or whoever this is, is not going to do nothing but, like, piss you off. It's going to get you in your feelings. It's going to fuck up something in your love life. And you don't need this tainting whatever you have going on with your new person. Because like I said, a lot of y'all are in love. You're in a happy relationship. You found your partner. You found the person you can be weird with. Y'all done found the one. Um, and if you don't want anything destroying it or coming in between the two of y'all, you need to shut this shit down now. Okay? Don't even let a motherfucker wonder if they can hang something over your head. Expose yourself first. Best way to make a situation go easier is to expose a situation yourself. Don't let nobody blackmail you. Okay. So, pal two, y'all coming in at 5604. How to? So what's hidden is that somebody is not completely done with you. Some of y'all may feel like somebody like walking away from you. They've learned their lesson. If you hurt this person or cheat on this cheated on this person in the past, this is somebody that's feeling like I still love you know the fire sign. I still love you. I don't know how to help myself like. I can't let this love go. I have the desire to be around you. I have a desire to like be up under you. I want you. I'm still in love with you and I need to be in your presence. So what's hidden from you, what's going on behind the scenes is the fact that y'all getting ready to reconnect with somebody that you're in love with. Y'all may love this person. This could, this could be the person that you feel was, you know, sent into your life <clears throat> as like a gift from God. And this is the person that you want to stay with. <clears throat> but you may feel like you've done this person wrong or you cheated on them or you treated them like some of y'all could have cheated on them. Others of y'all, you just didn't do the best at treating them like you wanted them. Some of y'all, you mistreated this person or you made them feel like you didn't want to be with them. You didn't love them as much as they loved you. But you knew that they made you happy. If you a woman, this is you looking at the situation like, I know I got a good man. I love my I love my boyfriend. I love my man. But I love how happy he's always trying to make me, but I just can't <clears throat> treat him the way that he deserves to be treated. It's hard for me to be be um What's the word? It's hard for me to be, like, emotional with him. Some of y'all, you have, like, an emotional blockage if you're a woman. You could be dating a man. You could be dating a woman. You know, same sex. You could be into the same sex. It don't matter. But it's like you are looking at the situation like, I'm trying, but I don't know how to give you everything you need emotionally. I don't know how to open up. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. And it's... Not because something is wrong with you. It's just some of y'all have like 
an emotional blockage. How can I love again when I've been in like terrible situations? How can I love again when I've went through so much in my life? Some of y'all even have kids now and it's like, I got to take care of my kids. You know, I'm already not doing the best. Some of y'all feel like you're not doing the best financially or when it comes to like upkeep in some type of home. You feel like the home is becoming too expensive or something is becoming too much to handle, too much to bear. And honestly, y'all could feel embarrassed by that. It's like you don't really want nobody knowing about this. This is why you don't really be on social media for real. It's not like you hiding from social media. You're not hiding. You just feel like you have a lot going on in your own life. And it's like... I feel bad. I feel embarrassed by my situation. And honestly, I don't feel like y'all should. Everybody go through shit in life. Everybody goes through hardships in life. So whatever you're going through for my women, if you're going through something, the best thing for you to do is just open up and tell this person like, hey, I can't be emotional with you. Or I'm treating you like this because I'm going through something financially or I'm going through this. Or I'm going through that. I'm trying to take care of my kids. I'm trying to do this. Open up and let this person know what you're going through. If you open up and tell them what you're going through, this this could be the type of person that will figure out how to be there for you. They'll figure out how to take some of that stress off your shoulders, but you have to open up and be verbal with them and let them know exactly what you need. So that's what they're looking for. If you're a man, I feel like y'all may have embarrassed this person. You may have hurt this person. You may have done them dirty a little bit. I'm not going to lie. A lot of y'all do have kids with this person and they never put you on child support or you have one child with this person. They never put you on child support. They still let you see your kids. Like this is like one of the best mothers out there. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Whoever this is, they not spiteful. Even when they feel like you've hurt them or something is going on with the connection, they still allow you to be around the kids. This somebody that's like, we still gonna be the best of parents even if we are not together. Like I love you no matter what. And they could have been looking for the same thing from you in return. But a lot of y'all treated this person like you only wanted to be around them sexually. You didn't want to, you act like you didn't want the relationship with them. But this person felt like you were one of the happiest things in their life. And it's like, well, how can I continue to be this person for them if they don't even want to show me that they care about me? Um... If you are a man, this person is going through something financially. They are, you know, like having a hard time paying bills. But they may be trying to, like, make you believe that they are doing well for themselves. Like, they may be trying to convince you that they're doing okay and they're not. The reason why this person is not doing okay, though, I feel like this is something that they will come back from. But the reason why they're not doing okay is because this is somebody that likes to go out of town a lot. They like to fake it. They obsessed with like taking trips, but when they go on these trips, it's like they blow all their money, they splurge, and it's like they come home and they gotta do it all over again. So this is basically somebody that's living paycheck to paycheck. I gotta wait until I have some more money. So this could be the lesson that they're constantly repeating in their life, and they feel like it's kind of hard to have the relationship with you because it's like I don't even feel comfortable enough to open up to you about like what I'm going through about these addictions with me traveling and spending my money there's somebody that feels like you can help them you can benefit them in life but they're not looking for your money they looking for somebody to come in and be a man for them they looking for somebody to come in and be strong for them um and to love them the right way they want positive energy around them this could be somebody that has this addiction to like traveling or blowing their money, they could be doing this because they feel like that's the only thing that puts them in a positive mindset. That's the only thing that makes them feel okay. So this could be like a woman that feels like she's struggling mentally, mentally, like I'm not okay. You know, I'm steady thinking about the relationship that me, I want to say Leo so bad, but <laughs> I'm steady thinking about the relationship that me and the fire sign have together. And it's like, when I'm in town, when I'm at home, that's all I do is think about you 24-7. I don't want to think about you 24-7. I want to get away. I want to see something new. I want to feel something new. So this is somebody that's running from their emotions. They're running from their thoughts. <clears throat> 
they traveling because they don't want to constantly think about you. And when they feel when they're at home, that's what they do. They constantly think about you. So they feel like they've created a bad addiction from running that's affecting their pockets. They don't want to talk to you either if they feel like y'all can't get on the same page. So I feel like y'all going to end up reconnecting with somebody, but it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be hard because you not even you feel like the commitment is not even on the table. They're done. They're over it. They can't stand me. They It's over. They hate me. But this is somebody that's still viewing you as a soulmate. So much that it hurts them. <clears throat> Imagine loving somebody so much that the thought of being without them really like crushes you mentally and emotionally that's how this person is feeling you feel like they hate you you feel like the relationship is over but this is somebody that's looking at you like i love them so much it hurts me like i need to be away from them i need to stop I, I need to stop thinking about them i need to get them off my mind i can't do this no more this could even be somebody that's feeling like they have to put their child first whether these are your kids or not this is somebody that's like I got to get myself together. I got to get my mental health together for the child. I got to get my emotional health together for the kids. Because if I'm not good, if mommy is not good, the kids are not good. So this is somebody that's deeply in love with you, but feeling like I can't allow you to take over my mind. I can't put this whole relationship first. I have to be about the kids. But in order for me to do that, I have to be okay. And I'm not okay. This is somebody that's... <clears throat> trying to avoid having a mental breakdown so they're doing everything they can to push you out your to push you out their mind but they know they need somebody to help them they know they need help because it's not working no more this could be somebody that keeps a journal or they keep some type of notes they write down their thoughts that they have of you They also out enjoying their life. There's somebody that feels like I'm not pregnant no more. Like my kids are great. My kids are growing healthy. They well. They doing good. So I'm finna get outside and enjoy my life. This could be somebody that's planning a trip to Vegas. They kind of want you to chase them. This is somebody that's telling you about something because they want you to join them. So if this a woman, woman or man, this is like the type of person to tell you I'm getting ready to go out of town. Because they want you to go with them. They want you to say something about it. They want you to volunteer yourself to go. They want you to fight for the relationship. And they feel like once y'all break up, you just don't care no more. It's like, well, I'll be single. And they don't really know how to handle that. Because this ain't really the type of person that like does the most. This ain't the type of woman that will... I'm hearing, I bust the windows out your car. This ain't the type of woman that's going to do that. <laughs> this ain't the type of woman or man that's going to be on no type of time like that. This, nah, nah. They ain't doing all that. They not slashing tires. They ain't busting windows out cars. They chilling. It's like, okay, well, you know, fire sign, I'm going to have to leave you behind. I'm done. You hurt me. We over. And you like, okay. And this person like, that's it. You ain't got shit to say to me. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna try to fight for the relationship. You ain't gonna try to fight for me. That's it. That's the energy I'm getting with this. So whoever this is, they really do still want to be with you, but they don't know how to tell you that. So they can still be trying to get your attention. Yeah, power two. They feel like they feel like the happiness is one sided. They feel like you are everything to them, but they don't feel like you feel the same. It's like you don't feel the same way about me. You everything to me, but I'm not everything to you. So I just don't get it. I don't understand what's going on. They feel played, kinda. They feel like emotionally manipulated, emotionally played. They want to know why you're not arguing with them. Why are you not saying anything? Why are you sleeping good at night? Why are you acting like you really just don't care? 
it kind of makes this person sad and it makes them worry a little bit because it's like if the, if nothing changes in this relationship was it all for nothing that's how they feeling was it all for nothing some of y'all ended up splitting households with this person like or either they wanted some type of living situation to change if this is somebody that <coughs> you have a child with but y'all have never lived together like this person had their own place <clears throat> when y'all met and you had your own place or you ended up getting your own place <clears throat> they kind of upset and sad about the fact that you never wanted to live with them you never wanted to move with them um you never wanted to be in the same home as them they don't understand why it's like if we have kids together if we have a child together why why did you never want to live with me why did you never want to build a home with me why did nothing change within our dynamic? So this is somebody that felt like y'all never have y'all have never felt like a complete family. Even though y'all were in a relationship, even though y'all were in love with each other, even though the sex was fire, this is somebody that's like it was always one sided. What if I was the only one that had these feelings? What if Pal Two never felt this way about me? And I was the one that's always loved them this whole time. This is somebody that has questions because they want to know why y'all were why y'all were never able to be a real family this could be a gemini scorpio this person feel like they walked away like disappointed they walked away without knowing what the real problem was. They walked away without knowing how you truly felt. Somebody feels like they walked away without closure. Even if y'all have lived with each other, this somebody feels like y'all wasn't living with each other for long or it was just a situation where you moved into their home, spent a couple of nights and that was it. Like. It was never really a, a real living dynamic between two people. This is how they feeling. And it's like, were, was I always single? Was I always without this person? It's somebody that was that's questioning like the whole relationship itself, the existence of it. Was it ever real? They've always done well for themselves financially. So if you're wondering, like, if you and this person have kids together and you're wondering why they never put you on child support, Cause some of y'all could be like, shit, you know, I was going through it at one point in time. I asked them to keep the kid or I didn't have this to buy the kids or I couldn't provide this for them. I couldn't help them with that. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. This person don't fault you for none of that. They don't fault you for none of that because this is the type of person that's always been able to hold their own. Whether they was in a relationship or whether they was by themselves. There's somebody that's like, I know I can, hand, I can hold shit down whether I'm a single parent or whether I'm in a relationship and in love. They would have, have rather been with you, but this is somebody that's like, I could do it on my own too, but was it ever real? Heavy Gemini energy. I think it was real. Like with you and this person, it was real. You just didn't show them how you felt about them. And this is what hurt this person. This could be an Aries. I could be talking to an Aries. You could be Aries. Um... They feel like they've been watching you control them for the long for the longest. There's somebody that feels like I've been waiting on you to like step up. I've been waiting on you to want a real life with me. And I feel like this whole time while I've been waiting on you and watching you, you've been waiting on something else to come in. <clears throat> you've been obsessed with somebody else. You've been wanting somebody else. So, so there's somebody that feels like y'all wanted somebody else the whole entire time and they disappointed by that. Some of y'all could be, uh, you could have a child with an earth sign. This could be a Taurus. Virgo. Another Leo. If you don't have kids with this person, this could be somebody that you talked about having a family with. Like, y'all talked about having kids. Y'all talked about having a family. And it's like, this person is wondering why y'all never did it. It's like, I wanted it, I was ready, I was available. Why did we never have this family together? Why did we never do this? Why did we never do that? 
So this is somebody that's kind of like hurt by the memories, hurt by everything that they feel they didn't get to do with you because they feel like the relationship was moving ex extremely slow in the past. And they feel like you didn't really know what you wanted. Some of y'all could have been locked up. Somebody could have been in jail in the past. I'm hearing when their son was born. Somebody could have been locked up when their son was born. That won't be for everybody, though. But this is somebody that feels like they've suffered enough mentally. They su they've suffered enough emotionally. Whoever was locked up when a child was born, this is somebody that's feeling like, I needed you. Like, I needed you. I held on to you. Like, I made sure you were straight. I made sure you was good. I was being a good person to you. Like, I was even, you know, talking to your friends, making sure they was um still talking to you answering the phone for you i was even this could even be like the type of person that was like i'm hearing two way in on jail calls <laughs> like if your homies if your friends wasn't answering for you when you was locked up this is the type of person that was like okay well they don't want to answer the phone when you call i'm gonna call them and see if they're gonna answer for me and these people usually do answer for whoever this is that you have a child with or that you wanted kids with People answer for them, and it's like, oh, I'm finna go ahead and freeway. We finna go ahead and talk to my man because he on the other line, or we finna talk to my woman because she on the other line. And what's the what's the issue? Why you ain't answering the phone for them? So whoever this is, they feel like they were a ride or die for you, and it's like they feel like they've always got rejected at every turn. Like you've always put people before them. You've always um, chose other people over them. You've always wanted somebody else, and it hurts them. So they feel like they've been waiting on you for four years. They've watched you choose three different people over them. Hmm. Or if you wasn't locked up, there's somebody that feels like they've been in their head for years about how you've been rejecting them, how you've not, how you've been like choosing over them or how you've always wanted something different. This somebody that really never knew what you wanted. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some of y'all, this is like a Taurus, Virgo. Okay. Heavy Gemini, heavy Earth. Let's see. Tell me what this person wants to say. Tell me what's going on behind the scenes. See, I'm in so much pain. Whoever this is, they hurting by everything that they feel y'all didn't get to do or by everything that they feel um, has happened in the past between the two of y'all. It's like, I was there for you. I was this, I was that. Like, why didn't we never get that fairy tale ending? Why didn't we never get the life that we wanted? We got, you make me want to do bad things. So, yeah, this could be the type of person where when you met them, they was a good girl or they was a, a good guy. But for you, they was on that other shit. Like, <laughs> for you, they was on some other shit. This is the type of person that'll lie on the stand for you. Like, they don't be lying in court. They don't be lying to nobody, but they'll go to court and lie for you. This is the type of person that would do anything for you. And it's like, I don't understand why we, why, why are we like this? Then we got, I'm open to compromise. This could be an Aquarius. Somebody's birthday could be on February 15th. Or February 8th. Or August the 2nd. August 15th. But um, we got I Miss You. Do you miss me? Whoever this is, they want to know, like, how you feeling? Do you miss me like I miss you? I want to choose you. No, we got, I want you to choose. So there's somebody that really don't want to force you to like be with them. I don't want to force you to be in a relationship with me. I don't want to force you to do anything that you don't want to do. I don't want to force you to choose me, but they feel like they've been waiting on you long enough. They just want you to say yes. It's like, just tell me what the fuck. 
<clears throat> tell me what the fuck you want. Just say yes. Just say yes, we can be together. There's somebody that really do want to be with you. And they definitely are a good person, whoever this is. They have very good energy. It's very light. Um, like I said, they could have been a good boy or a good girl, but they bad for you. Oh, Nicki Minaj. Go listen to Nicki, Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill, y'all. It's called Bad For You. That's this person's channel song for you. I'm going to say it again. It's Nicki Minaj and Meek Mill. It's called Bad For You. If you're wondering um, if the person you got on your mind, if that's who I'm talking about, yes. Yes. So this is like your first baby mama or your first baby daddy. Or this is like the first person that you've ever wanted to have kids with. First person you've ever wanted to build a family with. Somebody's birthday could be... Um, Somebody's birthday could be on the 22nd of the month. The 23rd. The 17th. <clears throat> Or oh, somebody's birthday could be on July 2nd. July 9th, September. Um, or something could be significant about those days. We got, please give me time. I've never felt this way before, but you are right. I am manifesting you. Yep, there's somebody from your past somebody that you've always loved somebody that you feel <clears throat> is the one for you your twin flame this is you like reconnecting with somebody that you've always been in love with from the get-go you just never really told them how you felt about them well, yeah i am manifesting you so a lot of y'all know that they're trying to come back a lot of y'all know that they still want to be with you and this could be why you easily walk away from the relationship somebody's birthday could be on the 18th of the month the eighth the seventeenth of the month okay sex they want sex we have i have so much desire for you and we got sex with you so there's somebody that really they miss the sex they want the sex but they feel like you said something to them that hurt them and it's like i gotta hold back i can't we can't have sex right now i gotta pull back i'm who this fell on my lap y'all i'm obsessed with your body so whoever this is yes they want you yes they obsessed with you um, are they trying to pull themselves back from you? Yes, they are because they feel like it's not the right time. They're addicted to you, though. They feel like you matter, your feelings matter, but they feel like now is not the time for y'all to be together because they feel like they got a lot of people talking about the situation. They keep hearing shit. People could be possibly telling them to leave you alone. So they got a lot of people in their ear that they trying to like get away from as well. Because there's a lot of people that that's trying to convince them, like, you're doing all of this to be with pal too. Or you're doing all of this, you steady soaking over pal too, crying over them. Do they even see you that way? Do they even want to be with you like that? Like I said, y'all, remember how I said this somebody that was contemplating the whole entire connection? Did they ever want me? Were we ever really together? Did they ever, like, feel for me like that? Do you even see me that way? They got people convincing them that you don't see them like that. You just want them to wait on you. And honestly, I don't feel like that's what you want. A lot of y'all want to talk to them. We got to reach out. This is how y'all will reconnect. You will end up calling this person and having a conversation with them. And that's what they've been looking for. Because they want things to be different between you and them. Somebody's birthday could be on the second of the month, the third.
It's my birthday could be on the 20th of the month. We got I want you. So how do, what's behind the scenes for Pal 2? How do they really feel about this person? <laughs> Somebody could be an Aquarius, a Leo. Y'all feel like some of y'all are scared to lose your independence. So if you a man, you are feeling like you don't want to lose your your manhood. Like <laughs> I'm saying it in the sense of like say if you got your own house, you got your bachelor pad, you don't want no woman coming in, putting their hands all over everything, changing your shit, making your rooms pink. You don't want nobody like putting a like, twings and twang on shit. You cool. You like shit the way it is. So y'all are kind of like selfish when it comes to your space. And you don't know if you really want to share that with nobody else. You don't know if you want to move in with anybody else. This could be why you run from like real love. You know you love this person, but it's like I can't admit that to you because I'm not ready to change my life. I'm not ready to change like I'm not ready to share my life with anybody else yet. I'm not ready, ready to share my space with anybody else yet, which means that I could be with you, but I have to hold back my love from you because I don't want it to get too serious. Because if it does, that means I have to give up everything I've worked so hard for. If you are a woman, this is you feeling like I N D E P. <laughs> y'all singing Boosie in y'all head because honestly. You feel like you're independent too. It's like, I got my shit together. I am my own woman. Um, and yes, I do love this person. I would love to have a relationship with them, but am I ready to have a real, real relationship with them? What if he tries to control me? What if he try to do this? What if he try to do that? You know, I ain't ready to get married yet. I'm not ready for things to change yet. Like, I'm not even ready for us to stay together yet. I don't know nothing about, mm -mm. I like my house. I like shit the way it is. I don't need no motherfucker coming in my shit messing up. <laughs> so y'all are on that type of time. If you're a woman, you on that type of time. Like, I don't need no motherfucker coming in my crib messing my shit up. And a lot of y'all trying to figure out, like, the T on them. You also trying to figure out the T on them. So this is like you saying, I'm not going to, yeah, I love you. And I know you love me, but I'm not going to just move you in with me. I got to do some digging first. I got to ask somebody do they know you from somewhere some of y'all are like doing your research you checking around on them you trying to figure out what they've been doing behind closed doors behind your back and and plus y'all want to date other people some of y'all like y'all freedom it's like you want to have the freedom to date you want the freedom to date you want the freedom to see other people and it's like i really just don't know if i can sit still and just deal with just you so we got i think we should see other people some of y'all really just don't want to be tied down at this point so yes you care about this person yes you do love them but a part of you feels like you'll be losing yourself you'll be losing everything that's you individually yep y'all running like i said y'all running this love scares me you scared to love this person it's my birthday could be on the 11th the 8th Or the 14th a lot of y'all are scared to love this person you scared to fall for them you scared to want to be with them it's like you scared me being with you means i lose myself but this is what you really want i want to start a family with you this is what y'all really want from this person it's my birthday could be on the 10th of the month so it's like yes you want a life with them but you fear losing yourself in the process of building a life with them. Aww. Let's see what the outcome is gonna be. What's the outcome for these two? What's hidden, what's the outcome? Y'all both running? Or you running? 
you running from this person, you feeling like you want space, so you allowing a breakup to happen. Um, you sitting back watching this person, being reminded of how beautiful they are. You sitting back watching this person, reminding yourself um, of why you need them in your life. A lot of y'all feel like they make things better. Even if you do have your own place and you're like, I don't want no woman doing this. I don't want no woman doing that. Start small. Get this person a drawer at your house. Get them a drawer. Get them a, a little bitty corner in the closet or something. Start small. I feel like some of y'all feel like this person makes things better in your home. Like this could be the type of woman that'll light little candles and shit around the house. Or they do something special to, to make you know that yeah, you have a house, but we can turn it into a home. You have an apartment, but we can turn it into a home. This is somebody that's like, let's make this something that's beautiful. Let's make this a home that you're happy to come home to. Let's make this a home that you're proud of. Let's make this something beautiful. There's somebody that comes in and make things all better. And I feel like that's why you love this person. And that's why you're so drawn to them. But a part of you wants to know why they need you. Why do you need me? Why do you even want me in your life? Maybe they faking. Maybe they fucking with me. Maybe they don't really want me like that. So y'all have insecurities too. The same questions that this person have, y'all have the same questions. For a lot of y'all, it's because they your twin flame. I'm not going to lie. We got lovers. So for a lot of y'all, this person is your twin flame. And we got to listen to your heart. All you got to do is listen to your heart. Don't listen to your head. Listen to your heart. What is your heart telling you? That's who you need to listen. That's what you need to listen to. If you feel like you love this person and you really don't want to live a life without them, that's what you need to be listening to. And that's what you need to be pursuing and going after. Don't listen to all the thoughts that come up in your head because we have a lot of fearful thoughts that creep in when we're getting ready to find something beautiful for ourselves and life. So remember that. I think a lot of y'all are meant to choose love here. You meant to choose this person. You meant to be with them. See? You are wrong. You are wrong. If you thought you were supposed to run from this person, you are wrong. Because they could be everything that you need. We got, I could be your hero, baby. And then we got, I am absolutely in love with you. If you think you should run from this person and find somebody else. If you think, oh, they don't love me. They plan me. This is you being scared because you actually love them too. You're actually in love with them too. Why start over with somebody else? Why go look for another man or another woman when you know your life started the day you met this person? When you know your life started the day you and this person had your kids, y'all had your child, something in your life sparked when you met whoever this is. It's time, y'all. <laughs> Some of y'all gonna connect. Y'all gonna be back with this person before Christmas because I'm hearing Mariah Carey. Um, it's that it's time. It's time. I don't know why I'm hearing it in my head, but Christmas um could be significant. A lot of y'all could be spending Christmas with this person, or you could be having a happy Christmas in the same household. Some of y'all could even end up moving in with this person before Christmas time. Y'all can end up finding a space that y'all both love, that y'all child will love if y'all have kids together. Uh, or somebody could be making making up for Christmas. Like, they want to redo Christmas. I don't know what happened. Something could have been completely a complete disaster, but somebody wants a redo. See, y'all both running from each other because y'all both feel hurt. You hurt me, but that's okay. They running from you too. They doing the same thing that you doing, but they feel the same way you feel. You are so very special. So I'm gonna get the advice on this, y'all, and then I'm moving on, pal. Ooh, you make my heart full. Y'all finna make me cry. <laughs> y'all finna make me cry. Let's see. Somebody wants me to give you the wrong advice. So y'all may have a cross watcher in your reading. Somebody trying to figure out what, what pal you will choose. Um, and whoever this is, they feel like... Somebody's spying on y'all. Let me just say that. So if you was dealing with somebody else, 
outside of the person that you in love with and that's why the relationship ended the other person is spying on you the other person is watching readings just like you watching readings they may even be watching this one and this is somebody that um they trying to see what power you're gonna choose because they want me to tell you the wrong thing this is somebody that wants me to tell you that the person that you're in love with is not the one for you which you know they are in your heart and i know they are because of this reading but this is like another person that feels embarrassed or threatened by your person by the first person you have a child with so if you have kids with two different people um or you have somebody you have a person you have kids with somebody and you have somebody on the side this person that you have a child with is being stalked by the other person and the other person stalking you too so it's like they want me to tell you the wrong thing tell them don't go back to this person that they want to be with who is this intruder <laughs> who is this outsider see look y'all can't make this shit up i know you from somewhere can i look y'all i know you from somewhere whoever this is is sneaking in y'all reading to figure out like what's hidden this somebody that wants to like compromise with you somebody that want to fuck with you this somebody that wants you but they don't think you want them this could be a, a, a cancer aquarius a libra okay what do they want why are they sneaking in the reading so that's another thing that's hidden is y'all got somebody that's spying on you and they also be watching the readings that you watch. They feel like it's time for them to get themselves together um, and try to be a better person because there's somebody that's feeling like your family won't like them. A lot of y'all, your family may know about them, but they don't really care for this person. They don't really like them. They don't really want them to be around. Uh, these are people that, that I'm not going to lie, they can't stand this person that's spying on you. That's another thing that's hidden. We got, I want to get you drunk. Somebody's birthday could be on the 3rd of the month, the 15th. And we got love me. There's somebody that want to get drunk with you, have sex with you. And kind of like seduce you into loving them instead of the other person. I worry about this a lot. There's somebody that's obsessed with you. But the only reason why they're obsessed with you is because of your sex. And they also want you to love them. There's somebody that's obsessed with you, but they want you to be obsessed over them. And this could have been like a sex thing. Somebody's birthday could be on the 30th of the month. They know you have somebody else that's waiting on you. They are waiting on you. They know you have somebody else that's waiting on you to come back to them. So this is like somebody that know you in love with somebody else, but it's like they're waiting on you to choose them. They waiting on you to like pick them. So they want me to say the wrong thing to you to convince you that the person that you actually are in love with is not the right person for you, which they are. This could be a Libra that's spying on y'all. This could be a Libra. A Leo. Pisces. This is somebody that want to start a family with you. Some of y'all can have a, kid, a child with this person as well. This could be your second baby mama or your second baby daddy or this is the second person that ever told you that they wanted to have a family with you. Some of y'all, a lot of people don't tell you that and you don't want a lot of people telling you that, but you know who this person is that's spying on you or in your reading. They want you. But you write about them. If a lot of y'all don't care for this person or you see like the negative traits within them, you see the negative side of this person, you know what you know what the fuck they be on. You know this person want you, but you know they're not necessarily good for you. You write about that. 
they just want you to choose them. They want you to choose them. They want you to obsess over them. And they want you to wait for them. There's somebody that kind of want to seduce you to, to make you chase them. But they don't really necessarily want the connection. They just infatuated with you because you keep rejecting them. Somebody's birthday could be on October the 2nd, October the 3rd, October the 4th. Or August 2nd. And then we got I know you from somewhere. So there's somebody that feels like they've um they met you through somebody mutual. Or a lot of y'all could have met them through somebody mutual. Like you could have been fucking with somebody that they knew and you started fucking around with them too. But they still trying to come back your way, they still trying to manifest you, but they have to convince you that they're in love with you or that you in love with them. And they trying to wait to figure out how they should do it. They're going to try to tell you that they think y'all should slow down. There's somebody that's going to try to pull back to try to convince you to chase them. But I don't feel like y'all going to chase them. Yeah, because you don't want them for real. We got. I need more time. You don't really want them for real. A lot of y'all want somebody else. Yeah, look. What's after that? I need time for me. There's somebody you don't want. Strength. You strong enough to walk away from whoever this is. This ain't something that's really enticing you. The only reason why y'all keep dealing with this person is because you're scared of loving the other person. You're scared of loving the right person. You're scared that the person that you want to be with ain't thinking about you like that. Do they love me too? Are they even thinking about me? Do they even want me? They do. So like I said, pal, too, the first baby mama is the one. <laughs> the first baby mama. The first baby mama, the first baby daddy, or this is like the first person that you ever talk about having a family with. They the one. Don't let this other person trick you. Whoever this is is spying on you. They want me to give you the wrong advice. I'm not going to give you the wrong advice. The advice for y'all is to like try to make things right with the person that you do actually love and listen to your heart. Go back to them. Go back to your first baby mama or your first baby daddy or whoever it is that um, you was thinking about having kids with. Or you planned out your kid with them. Some of y'all could have planned out a kid with the first person and the second person. If you had kids with the second person that's spying on you, you ain't really planning that kid out. That could have been like an accident or y'all could have been like fucking around. It was like a mistake. And whoever this is that you have the child with, they're a little bit in denial about that. They don't want to really face the truth when it comes to that. Because you was always single. And you was going to cut them off regardless. <laughs> you was going to cut them off regardless. They just embarrassed by the fact that you don't want to be with them even though they have a child with you now. So, so there's somebody that's chasing you because their ego is broken. But yeah, that's all I got for you, pal, too. Go back to your first person. Bye, y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button. I'm going to pal three. Some of y'all had to confess to your first first um baby mama or your first baby daddy that you was, like, pregnant by the other person or that the other person had a child by you. Some of y'all been told this person about that, and that's possibly why you and the first person are not together no more. However, you and the first person can fix the situation. This person still love you. They still want to be with you. But right now, they just traveling to, like, get you out their mind. If you make the move first, pal, this pal too, y'all. I'm still talking to y'all. If you make the move first, take the initiative to, like, go towards this person and call them, they will call. They will talk to you. They will have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and talk about getting back together. So you can have your person back if you want, okay? Some of y'all, your, uh, your side piece found out they was pregnant when they was, or they told you about their pregnancy when they was already three months pregnant. Somebody already knew they was pregnant or having a baby and they kept it a secret. Or you have to tell this other person about the, the the secret. For my men, you have to tell this other person about the child, you know, once the other person was like three months. Because this other baby mama or this other baby daddy was raising hell. Like, literally. And stalking, like, both of y'all. So you ain't had no choice but to tell them. 
Be careful though. Some of y'all connected to like the other baby mama or the other baby daddy. They're a gold digger. So, like I said, go back to the first person. But anyways, pal three for real this time. <coughs> Okay, pile three for real this time. One forty six oh eight. Hi y'all, welcome to the channel, pile three. So this will be for all of the um fire signs. It don't matter if you're Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you pick about pile three, you are in the right place. Some of y'all might have picked another pile as well because, or you was confused on which pile to pick because I was kind of like. <laughs> trying to figure out where we was at for a minute like what power we was on so some of y'all may have chose power one two for some of y'all power two is for you if you was wondering or if you was having a hard time picking or choosing a power power two is for you um power three let's see Oh, what's hidden is y'all gonna witness a miracle. Y'all gonna witness a miracle. Like, somebody could have been damn near on their deathbed, but whoever this is, they gonna be healed, or it's gonna be like, this is like if somebody has cancer, they find out that they're cancer free, they in remission. For an example, like, they find out that they don't have cancer no more, they in remission. Um... Especially if this is somebody that was scared about like some, I'm hearing breast cancer, but this could be like any type of cancer though. Whoever this is, I feel like they're going to be getting good news. This could be you. This could be anybody. This doesn't have to be you. Um, but I feel like this could be somebody around y'all. Somebody is like being saved from something or they have another chance at life. Something is not over. Something is not ending for a particular person. This could be somebody that's older around you, somebody that's older in the family. Somebody could have dementia, be confused. Somebody could be uh, like forgetting a lot of things. And people may be looking at this person like they're, oh, you're playing a game. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Like, you know where to go. You remember this. You remember that. People think that somebody is playing. People think that something is a joke, a game, an illusion. But, or somebody's just acting but they're not acting they're not acting this is somebody that's really struggling to keep it together mentally right now um and emotionally this is somebody that's really really struggling like with some type of um something that they're going through it's an illness it's an illness somebody is struggling with something physically and it's like they're not pretending they're not playing they just don't know how to explain to people around them that they're going through something serious. They don't know how to explain to people around them that they're having health issues. So somebody is kind of like keeping their health issues a secret, keeping it behind the scenes, under wraps, hidden. Whoever this is, they have secret accounts or they watch people from secret accounts. This could be somebody that watches family members from secret accounts. They feel like people will never forgive them for keeping this a secret or for not telling them about this sickness that they're going through or about what they're struggling through physically. It's like, I'm, I feel like people are gonna be mad at me for keeping this a secret. I feel like people are gonna be mad at me for not 
speaking up for not telling. And I don't want people to feel like they have to be around me. They have to show up. They have to do this. They have to do that. There's somebody that don't want to be anybody else's charity case. I don't want people to feel sorry for me. They don't feel like you turning your back on them. They don't feel like anybody is turning their back on them. But this is somebody that's like, I want people to be around me because they want to be around me, not because they feel forced. So this is somebody that's feeling like they have to spend some time to themselves. They have to spend time to heal. They have to spend time to focus. They're not being shady. So if this, if this somebody you feel has been distant with you or they haven't been responding to your calls or text messages or maybe they drive when they talk to you, um, they act in this way because they are going through something and they just don't want to tell you about it. They kind of wanted it to stay hidden. This could be a man. This could even be a woman. Some of y'all, this could be a man that's feeling like everything is going wrong. And they like, everything is going bad. Like, I don't have anybody here for real. Like, I miss my partner. I miss the person that I, I was in love with. I miss the person that I was sleeping with. I miss this. I miss that. Somebody is missing something in their life they feel like something is missing this could even be a woman that's going through this sickness and it's like i don't want my family to be here for me i want a man to be here for me i want a woman or somebody i'm in love with to be here for me i don't really want to call on my family when i'm going through this 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 and that i want to be able to call my my partner this could be somebody that's missing love so they're pretending to be okay in front of everybody else. They pretending like they okay with like people not being around them. This is like somebody that's becoming super, super distant. It's like, if, if you don't call them, you probably won't hear from them. Um, and they're doing that purposely because it's like, I don't want people to feel like they have to be attached to me. Or if you're around them, they pushing you away really, really quick or they pushing you out the door. This is somebody that's pretending to be okay and they're going to continue to do this. They're going to continue to pretend to be okay. Because the love that they want or the love that they feel they need, this could even be somebody that's stressing about something emotionally and it's taking a toll on their physical health. Like they could be missing love and they like feeling like they need a partner and it's like, damn this kind of fucking with me. Somebody could have been stressing about the same thing for a while. And it's like, now they looking at life like, I need to try to separate myself from everybody else because I don't really have what I want. I, I want love, I want real love. <clears throat> this could even be somebody that's trying to stop themselves from watching tarot or they tell people that they don't watch tarot. And it's because they don't want people to you know, run to their rescue. They don't want people to come back around and try to like, there's somebody that don't really like attention. They don't like people feeling sorry for them. So if somebody compliments them, if somebody tell them they love them or tell them something special about themselves, there's somebody that's like, man, I don't want to hear that. Or yeah, whatever, that's cool. Because if they're upset about something that's going on with their own life. And this is like somebody that feels like they could be upset with somebody else. And they feel like they may take that out on certain people in their life. And this is why they are backing away from people. This could be somebody that feels like they want a real relationship with a, a real man or a man that acts grown mentally. And they feel like they're stuck or they had somebody that was childish in their life. They feel like this person loved them. They just don't feel like the relationship worked out the way that it should. And they feel like the only time they hear from this person is when something bad is going on in their life. So this is like a woman feeling like the only time she hear from a man um, is when that, that man has like a death in the family or something serious happens. And they feel like every time this person calls them or come back around, they can't express how they truly feel to this person because they feel like it's never the right moment. I'm hurting. I'm hurting right now because me and this person didn't work out the way that we should have. But I'll sound like an asshole 
if I'm on the phone with them and they telling me how they family member just died and I'm talking about, well, what about our relationship? What about, you know, you being gone for so long? What about you, you know, never being around me or treating me the best way or settling down with me? Somebody wants to talk about something that has been hurting them for years but it's like I always have to play it off like I'm okay to satisfy this person and I can't do it anymore. They love this person, but they running from them now. If there's somebody that has kids with this person, it's like my kid is grown now. So I don't really need to like sit here and harp over this relationship anymore i could run as fast and as far as what as far as fast and as far away as i can from this person and i'll be cool they ain't gonna chase me they ain't gonna do this they ain't gonna do that there's somebody that feels like this person they kind of running from this person they have a child with because they feel like maybe if i run they'll try to catch me but they feel like this person ain't chasing them and it's kind of hurting them so they playing games too and it's like two people kind of like running from each other. And when this person is finally out of their life, this person is sad. They sad about it. They feel some type of way about it. But they being childish just like this man is. This is like somebody that can express themselves to this person. It does not matter what time of day it is. It does not matter what's going on in their life. Yes, this may be a tough time. Yes, they may be going through like somebody passing or something going on in their life. But why would you sit there and allow your help to go bad because you allowed this to stay on your heart and your mind for so long and stress you out and fuck with your health? You allowed this shit to stress you out for too long. And I don't this I don't feel like this is y'all. I feel like this is somebody around y'all going through this. An older person in your life. An older person that's missing something in their life. They feeling like they missing love. They still in love with somebody from their past. But they playing the same game this person is playing. They both running. They both not expressing how they truly feel. They both feel like maybe it's the wrong time. But whoever the woman is in the situation, they don't need to feel like it's the wrong time. They need to just go ahead and say what they feel. Say what you need to say. Get that shit off your chest so you can get your health back right something is kind of like a mess and I feel like it's a mess because two people just refuse to commit. They refuse to commit. They refuse to talk to each other. They refuse to like. And when they do talk to each other, which is usually at during bad moments, like something major happening, like death and all of that. That's when they usually do get a chance to talk to each other. That's when this person feels vulnerable, vulnerable enough. Whoever the masculine energy is, they feel vulnerable enough to reach out to whoever this older person in your family is or this older friend you have whoever they feel strong enough to reach out to this person when something is going on oh my my people's passed away so i'm gonna reach out to your family member but these are two people that's playing the same game And they both feel embarrassed by their love life. They both feel like crazy about how the relationship between the two of them is played out. But yet these people are doing the same thing. They still confused about being with each other. They still confused about settling down. They still being toxic towards each other. They still trying to figure out a way to control each other's lives, lives and they can't do it. These are two people that's kind of faded to be together, but the wheel will never turn and it won't turn because somebody needs to break the ice. Somebody needs to make a change. And honestly, it needs to be the woman. Whoever this woman is, this older woman is in your family that's going through this, they need to break the mold. They need to speak up. Don't keep that shit on your heart. Don't keep that shit on your conscience. Tell this person how you're truly feeling. Don't play a game with them. Don't try to manipulate them. Don't say, oh, well, I'll wait to tell hell. No, nah, tell them today. 
tell them today because somebody um does not understand like how much of a toll this is taking on them These are two people that's hurting behind a breakup, but ne neither one of these people know how to express that to each other. Both of these people want to give off the illusion that they are healed and that they're fine without the other person, but that's not true. That's not true. It, that'll never change. Like These are two people that will always want to talk to each other. They will always want to reach out to each other. They will always want to be in each other's lives. The problem is pride. The problem is them wanting to reject each other. The pride is, the problem is, um, the problem is y'all doing things, them two people doing things at separate times. Like this is a masculine energy that's like, mm, I don't have to be with, be with um, Pal 3's family member. I could just reject them. I don't gotta fuck with them. <laughs> I got other options. And then your family member feeling like, okay, well, they rejected me when I was trying to, like, show them love. When I was trying to, like, be there for them, they didn't see it. They didn't notice it. They rejected me. So, okay, cool. I'm going to start rejecting their ass. When they come back to me, I'm going to start cheating on them. I'm going to start dogging them. It's all a manipulation tactic, y'all. Like... <laughs> It's a manipulation tactic. These are two people that's kind of like manipulating each other. Two people that's kind of like playing a game with each other. A bad game. And it's not working out in either of their favor. And they both spy a lot. They both spy part-time. These are two people that spy on everybody in the family. <laughs> so it's like they make everybody else and everybody else's life their responsibility. Um, they also spy to see who they can talk about in the family, who they can gossip about, who's lacking funds, who's really living above their means, who really don't got it like that. These are two people that will make a perfect couple. They need people to gossip to, they need people to talk to, but the only people that they can do that with is each other. So somebody feel like they lost their best friend. This is why they want to be with this person again. This could be somebody that has kids in your family. So this could be uh, like your mama. This could be, you know, any woman in your family that's older than you that has kids. That has like a, a baby father. Or, you know, somebody that they going through a long time commitment with. But this is an older person that is kind of like missing this person that they have this child with, but they plan they plan just as many games as this person. They acting like they don't care for this person. They acting like they don't have emotions for this person, but they really do. And it's like they sit back and they watch your relationship. They watch everybody's relationship. And the, the person that they love, they baby daddy do that too. The child's father. It's like two people sit back and watch everybody else's relationship. To see what's to see if people are really happy, to see if people are lying about being happy, to see if people are on their way to marriage, well, or not. <laughs> this is somebody that feels like they watch everybody else in their life heal, and it's like they kind of feel like weaker than everybody else around them. This is like a family member feeling like feeling bad, feeling like, well, what's wrong with me? Why can't I get a solid relationship? Why can't I get this? Why can't I get that? Like, I don't understand. I have kids or what's the delay in my life? What's the hold up in my life? Why, why don't I have real love? This is somebody that's sitting back pondering, like, why can't they have the love life that they want? And you have that. And your other family members have that. They want to know whose relationship. There's somebody that's trying to pick other people's relationships apart, find a loophole in their relationships. They want to figure out what's wrong with it. 
So that's what's hidden. You have an older family member. It's an older woman in your family that's kind of like going through their own sadness and it's surrounding like love. Why can't I have this type of person in my life? Why can't I meet this person? Or why can't I be with the person that I love? And then they're looking and spying on everybody else around them. And it's like, well, you know, everybody else around me has a relationship. But let me try to figure out what's wrong with all of their relationships. Let me try to figure out what's going on with pal three and they partner. Something got to be wrong in their relationship. Like, I know something fucked up. I know they person doing them dirty. I know they got to be doing they person dirty. There's somebody that's trying to find a way to pick apart your life. And they doing this to, like, multiple family members. It's you and another person that they doing this to. It's like they want to know, like, I'm not, I'm not at the bottom by myself. I'm not going to be the only person without a relationship. Something has to be wrong with y'all relationship. Y'all got to be going through it. This somebody that's trying to confirm, like, is your relationship weak? Are you weak? Will you, will you tell them everything that's going on inside your home? Will you give them the gossip that they're looking for? This somebody that only want to know about your life because they want to figure out a way to pick it apart. It's like they only want to know the bad things that's going on in your life. If anything good is going on with you, they don't want anything to do with it. They don't want to know about it. <laughs> Unless they can find a way to, like, delay it for you. Sadly. There's somebody that wants to be, like, more successful than you. And they know it's childish. They know it's petty. They know it's not them being loving at all. It's like, this is so fucked up of me. The fact that I would rather see... You know, the people that I love stressed out, the people that I love single. There's somebody that want to see you hurting in love and they want to see another one of your family members hurting because they feel like y'all have something that they don't have, which is love. And there's somebody that feels like, well, if I don't have it, why do you deserve it? It has to be something hidden. and it has to be something going on in the background that I don't know. So this is like a family member that's digging extra, extra hard into your love life. So this could be somebody that's spying on you on social media to see like what the hell is going on behind the scenes. This could be somebody that's watching your readings as well to figure out like what's going on with your life behind the scenes. So they cross watching for you. This this could also be somebody that's like um, asking other family members shit about you and another person. They doing this to you and another family member, two of y'all at least. And this is somebody that y'all trust, which is the crazy thing. This is the family member that you trust. You have the utmost respect for. A lot of y'all feel like this person has taught you religion. They've taught you how. They've taught you morals. Um, they've raised you in a beautiful home. A lot of y'all. I'm not gonna lie. For a lot of y'all, this could be your mama. I'm not gonna even sit here and fake it. <laughs> I'm not gonna fake it. This could be your own mother, or this could be like. This is like a family member that feels like you owe them. I'm not going to stunt. This is a family member that feels like I gave you a beautiful home. I raised you here. I did this for you. I did that for you. I put clothes on your back. I fed you. Um, so you shouldn't, uh, you should retire me early. I shouldn't even be working. I shouldn't even be doing this. There's somebody that kind of expects you to like live for them now. I lived for you this long. I'm not going to lie, y'all. This sounds like a spiteful parent. A spiteful parent that's feeling like, well, I dedicated I dedicated 21 years of my life to you. I had you. I, I gave you birth. I gave you life. And I gave you this. And I gave you that. You supposed to go to work for me. You supposed to be giving me money. You supposed to be taking care of me. So I don't have to do this, 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 and that. This somebody that feels like you are supposed to be fitting the bills for them. You're supposed to be paying them back. They feel like you owe them something. And this is a family member that you trust. So they smile in your face. I keep hearing um the OJs. They smile in your face. 
all the time they want to take your place they backstab us backstab us so whoever this is this is somebody that be smiling you would never even know that they feel this way towards you they really good at hiding this from you and whoever the other family member is they really good at putting on that role of oh i'm your family i'm so happy for you i'm so happy you're going through this i'm so happy you got that for yourself but whoever this is, they're lying. They're lying about that happiness that they feel. And honestly, I'm not going to stunt. This could be part of this person's karma. This could be why this person is not having the best luck and love. This is why the person that they want to be with, they can't be with that person. Because they too busy focused on you and the rest of y'all family members that's in relationships. Well, why I don't have a relationship like that? Why I didn't get that? This is somebody that's comparing themselves to you. And trying to figure out a way to pick apart your relationship. So if you say if you telling this person about you something that you and your spouse did, that's all y'all did. All they did was pay for that. Oh, all y'all did was ate that. <laughs> Why y'all didn't go here? Say if you and your person has like this special thing. Say if um you and your person met at I'm going to say Denny's or something. I don't know. Say if you and your person met at Denny's or Applebee's and y'all have like this special special, special ritual where y'all go to Applebee's every Sunday um, to honor y'all vows or to honor your relationship, just the first date. Or you go, you go there on all your anniversaries and it's special to you. It's something that's special to you and it's something that makes you happy. This is the type of person. Oh, he cheap. She cheap. That's all she could afford. Bitch, this ain't your... Oh, I'm sorry. Ma'am, this ain't your relationship. And this ain't about... It's, it's like, it's almost as if this is somebody that want you to defend yourself to them when they trying to shit on your relationship because they're jealous. It has nothing to do with, like, what they saying being the truth. Because it don't be true. This is just somebody that's jealous of what you got going on. But they'll try to convince you, oh, your person broke. They couldn't do this for you. They couldn't take you somewhere better than Applebee's on your anniversary. But that's you all spot, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's something that's special to the two of you. So why would you even need to break that down to this person? Why would you even, even need to tell this person that story? You get what I'm saying? Because this is somebody that's jealous. Jealous. They don't want to be around your partner. They don't want to be around anybody. Because this is somebody that's very possessive. They feel like the third wheel. Oh, if you bring your love interest around, I'm going to be the third wheel to them. You are not in my relationship, so you are not the third wheel. You my family member. I cannot fuck you. You my mother. I can't fuck you. You my dad. I can't fuck you. Like, or you who I feel like this is a woman though. This is a woman in your family. I'm not gonna even stunt. And this is a woman that you trust more than anything. Trust is the key word. If you know you got other women in your family, this is somebody that's older. If you know you got other women in your family and you trust them, it ain't them. <laughs> it ain't them. This is somebody you you honestly trust them like your whole entire life. And this is how they've always felt secretly. It's always been hidden emotions that they've always had. This is somebody that's jealous. A very, very jealous person. A very, very possessive person. And when they call you, when they talk to you, the only reason why they call you is to figure out what you're hiding. The only reason why they talk to you is to figure out what you're hiding and figure out what this person is hiding. So, yes, this is somebody that needs a partner. They do need somebody. Because <laughs> this is somebody that sit up at night and they be stressed out all in their head because they feel like, well, <laughs> nothing is changing in my life. Nothing is this, nothing is that. This somebody that's even helping people just to hang shit over their head. Like they'll try to give somebody something, give somebody a gift, just to like put this person in their head, make them paranoid. Oh, you owe me this. Remember when I did this for you, I do everything for you. There's somebody that likes to try to hang shit over people's head, blackmail people, make people feel restless, burnt out, tired, like they have to do certain things for them. And they know these people be in relationships. So if this is like, say if you married and you live with your spouse or you in a relationship and you live with your spouse. This is this person like kind of like coming for you and other family members that's on the same type of time you on. 
If you got other family members that live with their spouses or they dating people, they falling in love, there's somebody that feels like they're getting left behind. They don't like the fact that y'all dating all their family members. They don't like the fact that y'all falling in love. They don't like the fact that you, you know, live in a household with your spouse. There's somebody that's jealous of all of that. And they will try to intrude on your life. Like they will call you. There's somebody that will call you and know you laid up with your wife. Know you laid up with your husband. Oh, I need you to do this for me tomorrow. And they're very demanding. Oh, I need you to do this for me tomorrow. Or I need you to do this for me in the next two hours. And you like, wait a minute. Or some of y'all even some of y'all don't even answer your phone for real because it's like you could feel the possessiveness that they have over you. You can feel the fact that they're trying too hard to insert themselves into your life. You can feel it. And it's like, you got to be like, hold on now. Like, <laughs> I don't want to snap. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. So I just need to, like, not answer the phone. Because this person, they kind of, like, bold. And they do, like, real catty shit. Like, oh, well, you couldn't. You mean to tell me that you couldn't come over here and, and cook this steak that I asked you to cook? And you knew I needed you to do this or you mean tell me you couldn't come take my car to the gas station or trail me to the gas station or take my car to get an oil change you know I needed you I'm not your man I'm your child or I'm not your woman I'm your child or I'm not you know your man or your woman I'm your fucking family call on your fucking fam call on your man <laughs> this is one of them things like this somebody that will literally walk away from you and be pissed off at you and want to embarrass you and there's somebody that'll try to embarrass you like they'll try to talk about like a new lover in front of your your wife your husband your girlfriend your man there's somebody that will purposely try to out you without you knowing that that's what they're trying to do so if there's somebody mama this will be the type of the, this will be the type of uh If this is somebody mama, this will be the type of mother that'll call your wife or your girlfriend or your man or your husband. They'll call them by somebody else's name while y'all out at dinner, while y'all at the table. And it's like, huh? What? <laughs> now, yeah, okay, I get I get where this going. This is somebody that do know how to fool people. A lot of y'all, this is somebody that's battling like they own sickness. But I'm going to be real. This is somebody that's going through this because it's karma that they're receiving for tampering with your life, for tampering with your life and other people's lives around you. This is somebody that's real good at confusing and tricking people into believing that they care about them. But all they really care about is like making y'all believe that your relationship is no good. Person you with don't want no strings attached. This is somebody that's wanting to confuse family. And we got the six of cups. Like, y'all innocent in this situation. But this is somebody that kind of want to, like, embarrass your relationship. They're looking for something that can embarrass you. Embarrass you. Embarrass your relationship. Something that'll get you to walk away. And then when you leave your partner from whatever gossip or whatever news they didn't found out. Or trying to find out. This is the type of person that will. Oh, baby. You need me to be there for you. You need mama to help you. Or you need your cousin or whoever the fuck this is to you. This is somebody that's older than you. You need you need me to help you. You need me to be there for you, baby. No. This is somebody that's intentionally doing this to you. They want to intentionally give you bad news or find out something about your partner purposely. Even if what they find out is a lie. This is the type of person that's willing to bring any type of news to you to see you and your connection fall apart. Because they want you to run to them for healing. So this is like a family member that cannot let go. They're very jealous of their family. If this is a mother figure, this is like a mom that's very, very jealous of her kids and she cannot let go. She cannot, she cannot allow her kids to live their own life. She feels like her kids owe her something. She feels like her kids are supposed to be taking care of her. She shouldn't be working. She shouldn't be having to do this. She shouldn't be having to do that. So this could honestly be the type of person that had kids and it's like, well, I'm waiting to see which one of my kids going to get rich so they can get me up out of this, you know, up out of this position. Mm. So this could be the type of person that always knew that they would have, like, if they got multiple kids, this is somebody that has multiple kids. 
because they felt that one of those kids or two, this could be two, they felt like more than one of their kids was going to be the person that was going to take them up out of the position that they were in. So this is like a mother saying, oh, I know I don't got to work. My son going to be rich or my son is rich. He going to give me whatever the fuck I want to get, whatever I want. Like, and his wife can't say nothing about it. Oh, my daughter going to be rich. Um, she going to give me whatever the fuck I want. And her husband ain't going to say shit to me because I'm mama. But mama is manipulating you. Mama is playing you. There's somebody that wants to have control over your life, control over your money, control over the who you love, control over if you, if you are able to love in life. There's somebody that's doing this to you purposely. And honestly, they're doing it because they feel like they don't have love in their life. There's somebody that's doing it out of spite. Not because it's the right thing to do. Not because they feel like you have a bad partner. Not because they feel like anybody has a bad relationship. They're doing this because they feel like they don't have a relationship. Why should y'all have one if I don't? And they coming out as the queen of cups in reverse in both decks of cards, y'all. I kid you not. Queen of cups in reverse is out here twice. So this is somebody that is very cold. They may not tell that like if this is a mother they don't tell their kids they love their kids they don't embrace how they feel they don't embrace you emotionally because they honestly don't feel any emotions there's somebody that only they try to juggle how they feel about like people partners they try to put on a good face because they don't want their family to run from them they don't want their kids to run from them they don't want their family to run from them but there's somebody that literally is looking for drama. They're causing drama within your love life. They're causing drama within another one of y'all family members' love life. And this is also the type of person they don't like when y'all get attention. If you get more attention than them, they feel like since you have love, a relationship, partners, or whatever, you get more attention than them. And this is somebody that wants the attention to be on them. They want to be in the spotlight. They want everybody to praise them and tell them how they was a good mother, how they was a good cousin, or how they was a good sister, whatever. I don't feel like this is a sibling, though. I feel like this is, like, either your mother, a cousin. This is either, like, your mother or a cousin. I don't feel like this is your sibling. Somebody is disappointed because they feel like all of the family is slowly for surely moving away from them. And it's because this is somebody that's not able to confuse anybody anymore about how toxic they are behind closed doors. I feel like a lot of y'all are starting to see the signs about how this person truly is or about how this person truly acts. And the reason why I said that they do need this person that they do that they are in love with, because they do love somebody and that person loves them too. But the thing is, these two people are just alike because they're coming out as the king and queen of cups in reverse. These two people are just alike. Both of them are very cool, cruel. Both of them are cold. Both of them are emotionally manipulative. Both of them try to control family. This could be a mother and a father figure that's both controlling. They both are the same way and they need each other. They don't need nobody else in the family besides each other. It's, it's one of them situations where it's like if this family member would just run off and be with whoever it is that they love, they would be happy. They would live a happy, messy life with this person. Because like I said, these are two people that like to gossip together. These are two people that that love to have a good tea session. Like they love to have a good tea session. They love to see what's going on in people's lives. Who doing this? Who doing bad? They love it. And these are two people that really love lying to people, love fooling people into believing that they have some type of strong love for them. But honestly, they really do not. These are people that's getting caught trying to cause confusion in people's lives. Yep. They are definitely soulmates. <laughs> these two people are definitely soulmates. This could be your mama and your daddy. This could be your mama and your stepfather. Uh, this could be uh, your cousin and her man. But this is a, this is definitely an older woman in your family, and it's not a sibling. So the person that you need to be rejecting, some of y'all are in and out of this person's life. You don't see them much. You see them, but you don't see them a lot. You see them once once every blue moon, whatever, once every two months or whatever. But 
y'all feel like you didn't know any of this you didn't know any of this y'all feel like this person had a strong deep love for you like nothing was going on with them they perfectly okay they perfectly fine um when you do talk to them they do gossip about people in your family they do like to talk to you about like the shit that's going on with other people in your family like there's somebody that like to gossip about your, your siblings or what they got going on they like to talk about people's um cars and people not working they like to gossip a lot this is somebody that needs a husband or they need a wife so this is like one of them situations where somebody like i said they sitting back gossiping talking to you like you they man or like you they woman and you're not they need boundaries stronger boundaries with you and honestly they need to heal this ain't somebody that and you will never be you will never find this out about this person that's the crazy thing they real good at hiding this shit they real good at making themselves seem like a, a good mother or a good cousin or a good person and they're not this could be a, a, a cancer taurus pisces Taurus, Gemini, Libra, Virgo, so yeah, that's what's hidden from y'all, pal three, I'm gonna go ahead and get the advice and close it out, y'all. That's crazy. Somebody is like playing. So this is like a, a negative Nancy. Like somebody that comes to like, or a bitter Betty. Like somebody that comes to the parties or they be coming around a the family. They always got an attitude. They always got something to say about something. They make like, they turn a good time into a bad time. It's always something. So, what's the advice for um, Pal Three when it comes to this person? Let this person figure it out on their own. Don't let this person damage you. Don't let this person damage your relationship. Don't let them come in between what it is that you're trying to build with your family life because this is somebody that's real good at tricking other people into feeling sorry for them um and they like people to see them as somebody that's vulnerable this could even be the type of person that says that they ugly in front of other people or i'm not attractive enough or i'm not cute enough this is why i'm not looking for love don't let this person play on your intelligence this is somebody that does have somebody in love with them and they love somebody else too, but they too fucked up in the fucked up in the head to go after that situation. They want to play games with this person, so let them be by themselves. Let them let them grow up on their own and figure out that they need to get their own love and stop trying to tear everybody else around them down because they too scared to go after what they actually want in their life. This somebody that needs to heal. They need to grow, like I said, and you can't help them do that. Cause this is somebody that's very angry and they very bitter and they feel like they do they feel like they are absolutely the best at hiding that from and we got illusions and trickery out here twice there's somebody that feels like they are perfect at hiding this shit from you they great at selling you an illusion selling you a lie oh i can make them believe that i'm happy for them i can make them believe that i want you know the best for them i can make them believe that i want them to have real love but truth be told i don't Y'all need to leave this person alone or keep your distance and work on building your family. Because I'm going to be honest, this is the type of person that will overstep their boundaries and try to ruin your relationship or your marriage. Especially if you having an affair with somebody in the workplace, this is somebody that will tell on you. So your own mama will tell on you or your, uh, your cousin, whoever this is, they will tell on you. Or they will bring something up and, and make it seem like, oh, that was an accident. But they're doing that because they bitter. Once again, we got bitterness. It came out twice. So, yeah. No, get yourself away from them. Bye, y'all.